Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at the EIS today in Sheffield and I'm with GB boxer Sandy Ryan. Sandy, brother of Dave Ryan, uh, who fought John Wayne Ibbett last time out and obviously unfortunately lost. But um, before I get on to that, tell me, obviously it's your first, I think it's your first time on IFL TV? Yeah, first time. So tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm 22 years old, box for Great Britain, um, world silver medalist, European Games bronze, I'm hoping to compete in next year's Olympics for you. And number two in the world as well. Yeah. Uh, obviously you're training here today, training hard. Um, are you here all year round? Yeah, all year round, every week, Monday to Thursday. Basically, second home. How did you get into boxing? Because obviously not many girls do box. I've always been sporty and um, I watched Dave's first professional game in uh, at Black Park and um, I went training with him and then I just, I loved it so I carried You've on. got the buzz? Got the buzz, yeah. Is that the only sport you've ever done? No, I played football before. Didn't fancy yeah. it, no? No, I couldn't juggle too. I was getting too many injuries so I had to That's pick one. Enough. What's the training like down here? Because I know there's like state-of-the-art facilities and the coaches are second to none. So what sort of do you think you gain from that? Yeah, like today I've just spied Pat McCormack, European silver medalist. Um, and you don't get any better than that. And sharp and fast after the switch down. But um, I like spying the lads. I learn more from it. It's harder, so. What's it like coming down here and having to spy the boys, obviously being a girl? It's just it's normal now. Get, yeah, yeah. Normal. I'm, I'm, this is the first time I've ever been to like an. This is the first amateur sort of thing I've ever seen. And obviously, I mean, if I see sparring, it's men versus men. And I, I was like, I see, I was like, whoa, that's a bit like it's a bit. All, but if you're both skilled, it doesn't matter, does it really? Nah, yeah. um, they're respectful, um, but yeah, it's good. It's better. Do you ever spar Dave? Yeah, I've sparred. Him. Have you actually? Did you back him up? Uh, <laughs> I won't say anything, Kara. Oh no, Dave, she's done ya. <laughs> um, I'll ask you about Dave, obviously. How's he doing firstly after that injury? Yeah, he's coming back um, healthy and strong. Um, hopefully he'll be out starting next year. What actually happened? Because I'm not, I'm not I'm really sure what happened. Um, I'm not too sure myself. He was, he's just completely rested it up. Um, I had scans and stuff. Something to do with his kidneys or... <coughs> Yeah, so uh, it's just um, it's just like to rest it basically. We had a little bit of a Twitter rant after the fight. You weren't happy that, that how John Wayne celebrated after obviously the way he did win. Obviously, your brother was ahead on all the scorecards. That's the thing. And then he's ahead. And uh, if Dave was losing, I could understand. But when you get in school, that's a word for it. No other word. You get in school and then the guy gets an injury and you win for that. You, they're just handed to you, them belts are just handed to John McDivitt. So you should have just give a bit of respect. That's what all I was saying, you should have respected it. Obviously he hasn't, obviously, obviously he isn't having a rematch now with your brother. He decided to fight uh, Tommy Martin. Do you think that he should have given your brother a rematch? Or obviously because your brother did give him a rematch and that's how he's won the belts. Yeah, definitely. Um, my brother deserves a rematch. He deserves to fight for his titles again. And well, we'll, we'll find out. Maybe if Tommy wins or if John Wayne keeps him, maybe that could be the next fight after your brother's healed up and had a fight to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that injury a one-off now? Do you reckon he's completely fixed with just a freak injury? Yeah, my brother's always fit and strong and healthy, so I think it was just a freak injury. I've never seen, I've never seen him have to stop like that. It's and he's a warrior as well, because usually if he does get hurt, he gets straight back up and soldiers through, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a bit, a bit weird. So. Yeah. Um, when's your next competition? Um, I fly out Monday next week. Um, I'm going to Bulgaria. What's in front of it? So, uh, yeah, that's my next one. All right then. Well, oh, and then I'm uh, boxing in the GBs um, the 26th of November at Sheffield. Yeah, you, can yes. come, you can come down and watch that as well, can't you? So come down and watch it because there's some good fights on, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of the lads are up at GB boxing. Personally, I'm looking forward to Jack Bateson and Muhammad Ali. I think uh, yeah. it'll be a fight. That'd be a good fight. All right. Well, best of luck in training and in Bulgaria, yeah. and hopefully I'll see you on the 26th. I think I'm going to come down and watch that. All right. All right thank you. Cheers.